And moving on to the corridors of justice, the High Court has quashed the appointments of chairpersons and members of boards to various state corporations and parastatals made by President Uhuru Kenyatta in 2016. A three-judge bench has ruled that the appointments did not comply with constitutional values and principles provided in Article 10 and 232 and the Public Service Act. Justice J.C. Lesit, Checha Mwita, and L.M. Juguna in the ruling said the president acted in contravention of the Public Service Act that calls for fair competition and merit as the basis of appointments and promotions in the public service. In the ruling, the three judges also directed that any state appointment must be made in an open, transparent and inclusive manner, taking into account the marginalized and people with disabilities. On June the 24, 2016, the head of state effected various changes in the composition of 28 state corporations, appointing 23 people to serve as chairpersons of various management boards. Meanwhile, Police Constable Evan Smithika has been charged with unlawfully doing grievous bodily harm to one Bernard Mochama, a senior colleague with the Critical Infrastructure Police Unit, during the enforcement curfew regulations. It's alleged that on the night of the 26th of May 2020 at Choka area in Jeru Sub County within Nairobi County, Mithika and another note before the court assaulted the senior officer. Appearing before Chief Magistrate Martha Mutuku, Mithika pleaded not guilty and was granted a cash bail of 100,000 shillings and a bond of 300,000 shillings. The case is set for mention on the 14th of December. Also, two former employees of the trio, Apartments Limited, Suresh Mohanlal Fatania and Shantilal Karsandas Varia, have been charged on four counts of conspiracy to commit a misdemeanor by falsely presenting themselves as directors of Trio Apartment Limited. The two suspects were each released on a cash bill of 300,000 shillings and a bond of 500,000 shillings, with the case set for mention on the 17th of December. Finally, three employees of the National Hospital Insurance Fund have been charged with conspiracy to defraud the state corporation 500,000 shillings. Helen Kemonto Nyamwange, Jane Joki, Anthony Chalo deny the charges and are released on an 80,000 shillings cash bill or a bond of 100,000 shillings. The case will be mentioned on the 15th of December. For Channel One News, I'm Serafina Roby.